May the Lord bless and keep you. You know what I really dislike? People taking your kindness for weakness. People taking your kindness for weakness. A while ago, this particular person asked for some money to borrow. And I kind of figured that this person was not going to pay me back. But that person said that he or she is going to pay me back on a certain day. That day came a week more, a week more, more and more. And I continue to see this person and this person says nothing about what they owe me. And something within me wants to be really insulted because it's like being spit or that person is spitting in my face saying that they are going to do something but not following up with their word. And I continue to do things for this person constantly. But it's like this disrespect Kevin, I know that you are helping me, but hey, whatever. Let me say this. And this happened a while ago, and I did not want to speak about this, but maybe it is time. For some reason, I am always awake around 3 a.m. I believe God wants me to pray <clears throat> around that time period. Like, I can go to sleep and I am going to wake up around 3 or 4 a.m. Sometimes earlier. I forget what time it was when I woke up. I don't know, but I was having this really strong urge, Kevin, because there was something that I had to do in this city, in another city, and what was coming to me, Kevin, while you go to that city, or better yet, go now, I think it was... 2 a.m., 3 a.m., I don't know. Kevin, what you should do is go to that person's home, stay in your car, and pray over that person's home. So what I did, <clears throat> It was about 2 a.m. or whatever. And I went there and I was praying over this person's home for about 20 minutes. And I am not going to get in too much detail about what was going on while I was praying. Some supernatural things were happening and what came to my mind again, Kevin, go and place your hand on that person's home 
and pray. So that is, so I went out of my car and I did that. And I did it for maybe three minutes, five minutes, I forget. So when I finished, I turned around and headed to my car. And this guy was passing by. And this person asked for a ride. And I was thinking, I don't know this person. But at the same time, I'm like, what can it hurt? And this person said that he or she is going to pay me. Okay. So, this person asked me if I smoke weed. And I told him, no, I am a Christian. So he asked me to take him over his girlfriend home. So I'm thinking, okay, let me just take him over his girlfriend home and that's it. And he asked for $2. And I am thinking, you said that you were going to pay me for this ride. So why are you asking for money? And he said that he was going to pay me back. So every month or sometimes every month, I get change from my bank so I can pass it out to people that are in need. You know, that have those signs like I am hungry or please give me money or something like that. So I usually have change so I can pass it out to those people there or a person that is in need. So he asked for $2. So I took out my pouch where I had my change in. So when this person saw the pouch or saw the pouch, then he asked for $4. I was like, okay. Later, he asked for $6. Then $8. And I am thinking, what is wrong with this person? So I took him to his girlfriend home. And I guess she was not there. So he asked me, well, can you take me somewhere else? <clears throat> so he asked me for my phone. And he called this person I do not know who that person is. And we waited for this person for about a good 20 minutes or so. And I was telling this person, man, I have to go, man. Like, I am not trying to wait here and stuff like that. And he was saying that everything is fine fine, please wait. And I was thinking, is this guy trying to rob me or something? Is he trying? Because I can hear the other person on the phone with him. So I was thinking, is this person really going to call other people to rob me, to beat me up or whatever? So I am getting a bit scared here, man. And I am praying too. I am praying. I am praying. So this guy have me take him to another place. And he was speaking in a coded way. And I was thinking, what is going on, man? I know that this guy is not going to do what I think he is going to do.
and we waited for this guy for another at this other place for another 10 or more minutes like 20 minutes or so this guy comes out of his home and he has this really paranoid angry angry paranoid look on his face asking that guy who is he who is he who is he and i am thinking what is going on like why did i give this guy a ride so he asked for my name and i was thinking about giving him like another name but i was like i can't lie so i gave him my first name and that guy was saying like before he asked for my name he was saying i want to see his face and i'm thinking god i don't want to die <laughs> i don't want to get shot I don't want to get killed. I was only being nice and trying to give a person a ride. And this guy is on some other stuff. So him and that guy leaves somewhere. And all of a sudden, I see a cop car a police car zoom go really fast past me and i am like you have to be kidding me you have to be kidding me i am about to go to jail because i helped a person are you serious so i am praying God this, God that, I bind and cast demons, blah, blah, blah. I am praying and praying and praying and praying. Man, a whole lot of praying and scared. Like really scared because at first I thought that this guy is trying to rob me or call other people to rob me or kill me or whatever else. And now I see a police car boom, pass by really fast. And I am thinking if that cop arrests them, I am going to get in trouble too because I am the driver. Even when I don't know what is going on, I have an idea, I guess. I'm like, this can't be happening. Like I stay, I don't go out in the streets and blah, 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 blah. I don't do that. So I am praying and praying and praying. So this guy, I should have drove off. This guy gets back in the car after two minutes or so and he said drive off fast or whatever like go really quickly and I am thinking what do you have on you so this guy has me take him to another place like so far out maybe five or ten minutes out and I am thinking man I want you to leave my car as soon as possible and he said to me that this is going to be his last stop so he took me far out and he told me to pull over then he told me, thank you, Kevin, for what you have done, and I am going to pay you back. And I am thinking, no, you're not. 
just leave my car, you know. When when he left, even before he left, like my body had a tiny shake to it, like I was shaking, like I don't know the word to call it, but I was shaking. And even when I got to the place where I was heading, it took me about two hours to calm down, perhaps three. And my mind was racing. I am asking God, why did you allow this to happen? What is going on? Is this a test? What did I do to deserve this? What is going on? And I am shaking and replaying what happened. This guy continued to ask for money and when I was hesitating or not wanting to do it, like he was getting a bit more aggressive like with how he was asking and I am thinking I don't know if this person has a gun I don't know if this person has a knife and I don't want to be in a fight with this person at 2 or 3 a.m. I don't want to fight this person because I don't know what this person is about and I am a Christian and I don't want to fight. And I was thinking, I am never going to pick up a random person up ever again. And I was just shaking like, not in a hard way, you know, but in this slight shake, like, I won't say traumatized, but something like it. So, maybe that night, or that day, I guess, I got down... I don't know if I got down on my knees, but I was praying. And after a while, let me say this. Even though all of that happened to me, I am still willing to pick up random people. I know that. <laughs> I know that you may say that I am crazy. I told my dad this story, and he said that I was crazy. I told a woman this story, and she told me that I am crazy. And why would I ever do something like that? I am just a kind guy, I guess. Kevin, what is your point? Okay. Stop being so afraid to be taken advantage of. Stop being afraid. People are going to use you. I was thinking that night, I continue to be nice to people and they just use me and see me as like dirt or something like that. Whatever. No matter how a person treat you, no matter how a person, whatever, if they are in need, you have to help them in some type of way. For instance, I received an email from a person that I don't know if this person does it on purpose but this person agitates me so much so much 
even so, if that person is a need, I have to help that person in some type of way. When that person contacts me, I don't want nothing to do with that person. Zero. I wish that person could move on and leave me alone. <laughs> I am serious. I am so serious. Even so, even so, I still have to help that person in some type of way. Kevin, you are crazy. You can say that. But this is what love is. I love people. And I am continuing to grow more in love. And you need to do the same as well. I am constantly used. Constantly. Constantly. Even so. I am going to reap what I sow. Isn't God in control of everything? Don't God see what I go through? So if he sees everything that I go through, if he sees me being used so much, won't I reap upon that? Won't I reap a good harvest based upon my good deeds and my obedience in God? Yes. This is what I am looking at. This is what you have to look at as well. I feared for my life that night. I am so serious. I thought that I was going to die. I am serious. I am a guy and not a puny guy. And I thought that I was going to die. Or go to jail. <laughs> Even when all of that happened, I am still willing to help a random person out even if they ask for a ride. I am still willing. My point is, you have to grow more in love. Well, Kevin, I don't want to help that person because I am going to be used. <laughs> listen, man, listen. You are going to be used. You can't avoid it. Even if you avoid it or try to, you are going to be used by someone. <laughs> you are going to be hurt by someone. Why not do what is right and put yourself out there and help others no matter what? Let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share and subscribe. God bless you.